YouTubers, I don't want high one here making a video response to Miss uh, Miss uh, Valentina Cortez's comment about my ribbon heart video near the end. It was a little confusing about how to connect the flowers together to make the actual heart. Here is a basic uh, look, outline look of how the heart should look like. And as you can see, I have eight uh, square or flowers in the middle connected horizontally, and three on top, three on bottom. Okay, <coughs> sorry. Um, these three would actually be the front or the back of the heart. It doesn't matter because it depends on how you view it. Okay, so these eight here would actually be around the circumference of the heart. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So technically, this here, this end, would eventually connect to this end and make the top portion of the heart and the V shape here is from the three on top three and bottom but the top bottom one here right here is from the two in the middle the zigzag ones okay so two bottom makes the two top corners of the heart and two sides make the two corners of the heart okay so if you want right down the middle right here you can just pinch it and make this V shape here so that it will give you a better guideline of how to fold the rest of it. All right. Now let's get back to the heart. So here I have two flowers completed. I already connected them, but I won't pull them apart for you. And I'll show you how to put them together. So when you finish making a heart, technically you have two ribbons together uh, as a pair instead of being separate. And um, Technically, if you use the same color, it should be on the same side, same color, same side. So here is when you first began, two colors, they're next to each other, right? When you finish, those same two should be connected as one right here, should be a pair, one on top of the other, okay? So now we'll flip it over and we have this kind of a windmill shape where, you know, one overlaps the other. But if you flip these two at the bottom up, right down here, this blue square, there's actually a slot right here, a little pocket for the connection. And as you can see, this one is telling you the direction of where it's going to be going. Sorry for the camera getting out of focus. So as you can see, it's coming from left to right, so the flower should be coming left to right. So we'll use this white one to overlap. So here, you see the pocket, and I'm going to slide it through. And as you can see, this white would actually now cover the two blues. Okay, that would be how you to make sure that you turn up doing it right. And you'll pull it all the way through so that the short ribbon, because you should have one long one short, would be coming in. And then you have enough room to slide the second one in. Um, for the first few flowers, they will be simple. Once you get closer to the end of the heart, it will be very tricky. So make sure you use a tweezers and I tend to pull it all the way nice and close to each other so that the next the set on top uh, would actually be close enough so that I could just slide them both at the same time but you can always do one at a time there's no rush you know this is something you want to take it nice and slow and so the top here is white so now I'm taking a blue going through the white slot and trust me it does get tricky it does get tight in this these areas so um, take your time use a tweezer don't rush it or else the ribbon will split and then later on it will just be a pain in the ass okay so you just keep on you know slowly pulling them tight together and as you can see here this is how it should end up what I tend to do is try to keep a one square distance between the two flowers here's two squares Right, that's you know two by two square box. So I'll put one. I'll imagine there's a square right there, and then there's the next flower. So I'll do that, and I'll just connect all the flowers together, and then slowly I will pull them apart. And as I pull it apart, I pull every single one one of the other fourteen apart, so that it actually makes a nice looking heart. So these first two could be the first two of the eight in the center, in the center horizontally. And right here is when I mentioned about folding in half to make it simple for you. What I mean is that right here, oh, excuse me, uh, 
right here, you could just take these two flowers, fold it in half, and just pinch the connections, you know, the, the, the ribbons that are connected to each other so that you have a little V shape all set up for yourself. So that these are facing downward, outward, so then you'll have one more flower on top, right here. This flower will be on top. So these two are on the sides of the, the eight that I told you about. So technically there should be another flower, excuse me, uh, there should be another flower right on top right here. Okay, so of course this one's not a finished flower, but you get the idea. It's supposed to be one on top right here. So let's continue the process of making this. And here I have two more that uh, I'm going to be making another response video to someone else. So guys, uh, Ms. Valentina Cortez, do you have a good time working on this? If you have any more questions, do let me know. Um, here's a regular flower that I just added on two more corner, two more uh, petals on the sides. Okay. Um, as you can see, this one it's kind of funny because here's the blue corner and here's a white flower. But this white flower is actually from the inside going to the outside. Inside of the blue coming up to the outside of the white, and then the inside blue corner petal is actually on the inside of everything. So, it looks a little unique in person, it looks nice, um, very interesting, you know, gets the mind thinking of how to get this process, get this step in. But um, I'll show you guys that later, or maybe I did show you guys already, but um, do enjoy the video, uh, make a video response, let me know what you think, and um, you know, let me see what kind of these color, color design, color uh, pattern did you choose for your flower, and you know, how small did you make it? What kind of ribbons? You know, just I mean, you know, I just I'm just curious about the people that are watching my video and what they're making. You know, just a little curiosity. Like they say, curiosity kills the cat. But hey, I'm not a cat, so I'm not gonna be dead from this. So let me know, okay, guys. Thanks.